a fine gentleman, Mr. Albert Sambakano. Um, even though I know, Mr. Speaker, you have possibly interest in Mr. Samba because he's from BC. And I'm, I'm seeing on, on the report that he's one of, he serves as um, um, one of the board, the, board, the board members as governors on promoting education in BT, which is good. Mr. Speaker, today again we are here to, uh, to, to, to approve one of the commissioners for the Electoral Commission. Mr. Speaker, as you know, election is not far. Election is very close. June 24 will be the D-Day for our nation. And we have appointed a young man that is going to also deliver to the nation in terms of give, doing the best for all of us. Mr. Speaker, as you know, the job as Electoral commission, Commissioner, it is a difficult job, Mr. Speaker. It is a job that I believe um, sometimes I tell myself, when you, if, I, if I happen to be appointed in those positions that my brothers and sisters I mean, um, are carrying, but I mean, Mr. Speaker, I would say no to it. Mr. Speaker, the reason is because sometimes some of us don't, don't no, some of us, Mr. Speaker, stress is one thing that we cannot manage. It is something, it is something, no, I mean, it is stressful. It's a stressful job. It is a job that I believe you have to do with all, I mean, fairness, Mr. Speaker. So, Mr. Speaker, today we have a gentleman that is before us that will be approved to, I mean, to, 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 to work for the Northwest as far as the Commission is concerned. Mr. Speaker, one thing I would tell Mr. Samba and Mr. Kano is that um, it is important to work with fairness. It is important to make sure you think about the nation that you belong to. You're not working for the nation. You're not working for anybody. And I believe the day that you'll be given the necessary duty to perform, you have your boss sitting close to you, which you are answerable to. And I believe you'll be given direct instruction and result to your boss in, in the very near future. So we are expecting you to do the needful as far as making sure that uh, this country, I mean, remain the way it is, peaceful uh, elections. We know these elections will be free and fair. And this election, I know for sure, the retired brigadier will win its last life. Um, the reason is because we all know how the president is working, and we all know the things that, that is happening in the country. We know for sure that the HD president is doing the, the right thing for all of us and for the nation. So therefore, you working as you going as electoral commissioner, not not West, I believe you will do the needful to making sure that uh, the right thing happens for the nation and for the commission. I know others may want to debate, and this is um, a, a, a quick one, Mr. Speaker. Um, I say thanks to the President again for appointing the gentleman, and I believe he'll do the right thing for all of us, and I wish him good luck. Thank you very much.